I didn't bother to put together a complex template that included a ton of parallel channels. We have the original audio tracks of the project, grouped for convenience in categories – drums, bass, guitars, synthesizers, and vocals. For each instrument category, I also set up one or more spatial effects using the Acon Digital Multiply and Verberate Basic plugins. Room reverb for drums, chorus for bass, something like a spring reverb for guitars, several space options for synths, plus a doubler and two vocal reverbs, plate and hall. You may notice that on some channels I used a combination of Multiply and Verberate Basic. This way I was able to add a pre-delay to the reverb since this parameter is not available in the free version of Verberate and the use of the fully functional paid version of Verberate 2 is impossible due to the conditions of our experiment, which I outlined in the previous video. It turns out to be very simple to solve the problem of the missing equalizer in Verberate Basic. We have at our disposal Equalize 2, with which I adjusted the frequency range of several reverb channels, attenuating the low and high frequencies in them. The next important point is that in the project, I didn't use group processing, but went a more complex way, adjusting each audio channel separately. Why? Well, that way, you and I will be able to listen to the nuances of the work of each plugin without other influence. Furthermore, we'll mostly be listening to the project without plugins on the master bus to keep any processing interdependencies to a minimum. The only exception will be the audio track inserts, since each new plugin complements or corrects the sound of the previous one here. And last but not least, in the next few videos, we will take a closer look at both the features of each single plugin included in the Acon Digital Mastering Suite and their practical application for solving various problems in mixing and mastering music. And we'll start with Equalize 2.